tonight I'm gonna to take you along for our nighttime routine this winter. Typically, our routine is fairly consistent almost every night. The only thing that differs is we alternate who puts Declan down. So sometimes it's me, sometimes it's Shane. Tonight it's my turn. So what I'm gonna do first is gonna pick up our living room as much as I can. I'm gonna get dinner started. Declan's still currently napping, so he'll wake up here in a little bit. It is currently 4.15. Shane gets home around 5. 5.30, so I'm gonna go ahead and get jump started on that while he's still sleeping. Hello and welcome if you're new here. I'm Tracy, behind Basic and Beautiful Lifestyle. I create content on all things homemaking, as well as motherhood, parenting, cleaning videos, organization, home decor, and so much more. Drop a comment below and let me know a little bit about yourself and what you enjoy watching. Also, subscribe and follow along for more content like this here on YouTube where you can hit the subscribe button. Also like if you enjoy this video and you can also follow me and my family behind the scenes on Instagram at basic and beautiful lifestyle. I personally love watching any routine videos if whether that's your morning or evening routines and I decided to show you behind the scenes of what a typical night in our household looks like. Not every night runs smoothly and just know that this is just an example so just feel free to take any tips and tricks that you've learned along the way and feel free to share any of your bedtime routines so i just got the majority of our dishes done here so i think i'm going to get started on dinner i whenever it comes to meal planning throughout the week i try to stick to like a theme night each night if possible so at least one night we always do like some type of mexican just like variations of nachos it could be regular tacos it could be enchiladas it could be chili then I always do like one night for breakfast, the same food. So I have a bunch of peppers back here that are left over from the weekend that I want to try to use up before they go bad. So I'm probably make some type of like omelet for Shane and I. That's something guaranteed that Declan will actually eat. So I'm gonna probably do that. I made some waffles earlier in the week that are frozen. So I can always get those out if Declan doesn't want to eat what we're having. I could also make pancakes or French toast. So I'm kind of throwing it up see what's gonna stick or not. I also have some breakfast sausage as well. I think it's turkey breakfast sausage. And then I also have some bacon leftover from when we did burgers earlier in the week. So whenever you go to meal plan, it doesn't have to be that challenging. Just pick easy themed meals and you're guaranteed always have a variety of options. So some people suggest maybe doing an Italian night, do Mexican, do some type of stir fry, maybe do like a healthier like um, salad, or you could do like the like Buddha bowls, I've seen a lot of people do like the California, just like sushi style roll bowls. You could do poke bowls, anything like that. Um, so like whatever fits the needs of your family or whatever fit, like staple foods you like, try rotating them or at least coming up with like anywhere from like 10 to 20 recipes that you can easily pull out and it makes your shopping significantly easier. You can also save um, shopping list if you do like Instacart or any of your local grocery store pickups. So you can go ahead and save them to like your favorites. So besides your traditional like bread, milk, eggs, you can also add in um, your go-to easy meals every week. So it's one way to get you out of the stores and not have to pull random things off the counters that look good. I think we're all guilty of picking up some snack items or we buy double the amount of stuff that you actually need. So that's one thing I've noticed that kind of helped with our budgeting, especially when it comes to grocery shopping in particular. Um, just staying on route, on track. Sometimes like weight adjustments and prices could change, but that rarely happens. So that's one recommendation I have for you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started real quick. I think Declan actually fell back asleep for a few minutes and I've just learned to let him sleep. So that's what I'm gonna do to try to get ahead. Not every meal has to be super complex or a three or four course meal. I decided just to do a quick breakfast for dinner. Like I said, to use up what we had. I like to add color into our meals. Now we have eggs almost every morning, but sometimes adding fruits and vegetables for your kids just adds a little bit more interest and they're more likely to eat it. At least that's what it works for Declan at the moment. See, little man just got up and dad just got home, right? Yeah. Say hi. 
For Christmas this year, Declan got this activity stand from my sister-in-law and brother-in-law and honestly, if you have a toddler, this is a game changer. It has prevented so many meltdowns for us. He, Declan loves to be an active part of anything we're doing and now he can help any way he possibly can prepping for dinner. Sometimes I'll just put little bowls and spoons and like maybe like crackers and stuff so he can practice dumping his crackers into each bowl and cup and he pretends he's cooking as well. For this dinner, I decided to use pancakes as our, one of our carb source. So I like to typically do some savory mixed with some sweet. Sometimes for the carb source, I alternate between French toast, waffles, or pancakes. Now with those, you can obviously add like blueberries, you could add um, chocolate chips, whatever you feel or your family enjoys. So you can do a lot of different variations with this. It is so easy to become frustrated with maybe dinner taking longer when little ones are helping or the messes they make like you can see here, but these are the memories I'm going to miss I know down the road and I know how much he truly enjoys doing anything with us. If we've learned anything over these last two years is to enjoy the little moments with your friends and family doing the everyday tasks like making dinner. When it comes to our nighttime routine, Shane and I just kind of fall into different tasks that need to be done. So typically Shane will take Holly out here while making dinner. Sometimes we don't even need to ask and it just kind of works. We kind of can read each other's mind on what needs to be done. So now mom and dad are having a quick little pick me up before dinner to get through bedtime and bath time. <laughs> adorable plate for Declan. It's space theme and it's double sided. It's by Zach. So it has the dividers on this one side and then has the print on the other. So depending on what you need based on the stage of your toddler or your child's at. They had a bunch of really cute girl ones and I saw some neutral, gender neutral ones as well. Every night we sit down for dinner in our dining room and just catch up on everything throughout the day and Declan loves the interaction with us as you can see he feels like he's such a big boy now sitting in his high chair and I'm sorry he's no longer in his high chair he's now in his like booster seat but our table is so wide as you can see it can barely fit both of us in this um the shot here but we love it how we can easily entertain and be able to lay out food in the center and everyone has enough space comfortably around. We have a general rule in our house that whoever cooks is not really responsible for cleaning up, but we try to load our dishwasher and run it every night while we're asleep. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish loading as fast as I can. And then I'm gonna wipe down our countertops. I, like I said, this is probably stage one of our kitchen shut down at the end of the night. So I go ahead and clean the stove top, the countertops in the kitchen, as well as the dining room table. Whoever gets done first will then start upstairs with Declan and will start his bath time or at least laying out his pajamas and whatnot. Here you'll see I'm actually going to um, brush Holly's teeth. Now that she's getting a little bit older, she's now six, our vet recommended this toothpaste to use on her back molar to clean her teeth every night. Just like us, we're also responsible for our, our dog's teeth as well. Our shepherd that we had previously, he always chewed on bones, so he never really had to clean his teeth much. But something with Holly, I don't know if it's because she's like has a daintier jaw, she doesn't really scrub as much in the back. So we try to keep her mouth nice and clean as well. Every night, Declan loves to look over <laughs> the overlook into our living room. So now we're going to give him a bath here. Since we're in the middle of potty training and he's been doing so well, he likes to take baths in here on special occasions. So we're celebrating by letting him have his big, big boy bath in our tub. So these are some of my favorite baby products for him right now. The Baby Dove hairline is awesome for his curls. And we've always used the Oveeno, um, the lavender vanilla scent since he was a newborn. I absolutely love the scent and how soft his skin is, but I've read some few things that I'm not crazy about what's actually in a lot of these baby products, so I'm thinking about switching over to Tubby Todd. Let me know in the comments if any of you have used them below or any other baby products that you guys enjoy. 
Like I've shared in some previous videos, I always like being one step ahead or planning out things that your future self will thank you for. So while one parent stays with Declan, the other one will come into his room, wear his pajamas, get his overnight diaper, any type of bed creams or anything like that he would need as well as laying out his books. And so then when the other parent brings him in, all I have to do is get him dressed and we're all set to go. So after bath time, we have decided to cut back completely on screen time that night. And we usually, we obviously we read books before he goes to bed, but after bath, he's had a lot more energy lately. So we try to play with a couple like Montessori toys before he goes to bed. Um, so we always get his train set out here. We also have some building blocks and my mom and dad bought him magnet tiles. Those are some of our favorites and things that we all can do together. And it just gets him thinking and using his creativity skills. I don't know, I absolutely love everything about this wooden set. I picked this up from Target. It's a part of the B line. So one thing that's really unique about this is it's actually compatible with all of the wooden train sets. So if you ever want to expand or add extra pieces, you can do so. I love that this night Declan actually came over to me and asked if he could pick up his toys. I was actually shocked because we've been working really, really hard on that with him over the last few weeks and it's nice to know that things finally set in. So now I'm just turning on his sound machine. This is the Hatch. It's absolutely our favorite. We've used it every single night since we brought him home. So it's my turn to read to him and put him to bed. We try to alternate every other night who puts him down so he feels comfortable with both parents. Look like a big kid, I bet you roar loud too. If you're ready to go potty, I'll show you what to do. So we have about three or four different toothbrushes for Declan. We have the typical like starter one. We have this Batman like vibrating one. And then we also have a baby shark one that sings. So depending on the night, we have multiple different ones to try to entertain him and meet his needs. As you know, toddlerhood is rough and some days they'll let you brush his teeth and other days they won't. So whatever you can do to entertain them. You ain't see, you see night night. No, no, no night. 7.30 is probably the hardest time because it's the point of probably exhaustion of making it through the day mixed with missing him whenever you put him down. Does anyone else feel that way as a mom? But these are my favorite. We're so lucky that he is such a sweet, affectionate little man and he literally is gravitated towards anyone. He's such a people person and I'm just so proud of the boy that he's become. Getting cozy? I love you, baby cakes. Daddy blankie. Yeah. Daddy. Okay, I'll get daddy blankie. Here, lay down, honey. Lay down. I'll get your daddy blankie, okay? Mm -hmm. Here. Get your puppy. No, no, honey. Sweet dreams, Dad. Okay. I love you. I love you. No, no. You sleep well, okay? All right, now that Declan's down, I'm gonna go ahead and close out the kitchen. Like I talked about this in my last video, I like to spend the night just shutting everything down, cleaning, emptying our coffee maker, refilling with fresh water, just anything to prep us prepare us for tomorrow to make our lives a little bit easier. Thankfully on Friday, Shane works from home, so he will be here and he won't have to rush out the door. He usually tries to leave around like seven o'clock, 7.30, whenever he's working in the office, but here obviously he can walk downstairs. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to dry all the dishes that are we washed earlier, put anything away, any leftovers from dinner, and then I might actually try to paint my nails, we'll see. I've shared my favorite DIY nail kit where you can do your gel manicure. I have been wanting to do a manicure for myself for a while. I might do a cute little Valentine's Day theme, so we'll see if I have time for that, but let's get cleaning. <laughs> I try so hard to shut down the kitchen probably at least five nights out of the week. It just makes the morning so much smoother. The one thing that's really nice is after we run the dishwasher, a lot of the time Shane will unload it for us and then prep breakfast, whether it's eggs 
before the toast and he'll always have the coffee ready. So at night I try to do my best to have it ready, at least the coffee maker like filled for him in the morning. So we try to like think of each other as much as we can like the night before, which I so appreciate. So that's one tip for your marriage to make your life a little bit smoother is try to help each other out for the next day. I, for the life of me, can never be a morning person. I have tried everything. Obviously, if it's something in regards to our kids or if I have an appointment or I have to be at work, obviously I will get up. I used to have to be at work at like four o'clock in the morning. I made it do, but I am definitely a high functioning person at night when Shane's definitely more like as soon as his alarm goes off, he's up and out the door. So we kind of took advantage of whoever performs the best at certain times of the day. So he's really good at getting up and getting everything ready first thing in the morning. So he is on breakfast duty most of the time, but then I usually am able to stay up late and get a lot more done in the evening. to laugh how big this pancake is so this was actually cut in half so when Devin was helping me pour the batter into the pan he filled out the entire diameter of the pan so I pulled it cut it in half and then I dropped into inflow and I figured we could reheat it and use it for different breakfast or snacks or something throughout the week I try not to be crazy OCD in regards to cleaning of my home, but one thing that drives me nuts is any food or random particles that are stuck on the surface of your sink. So I've heard before that your sink is probably one of the most disgusting and germy areas of your home. So I like to start with a fresh start. So I scrub that down as much as I can. And then I put away Declan's activity stand here, just in case if we have to come down in the middle of the night that we don't trip on it. This is the final result of the kitchen cleanup, living room, and playroom. Those are our three most used spaces first thing in the morning. And even though I know it's not perfect, it's functionable. I know the countertops are sanitized and clean. There's not clutter out. It just makes me feel so much better walking down the stairs in the morning to a clean, fresh start. Speaking of routines, dogs are so funny because they are so particular about their routines. So Holly will sit by the door and wait as I'm cleaning up everything at the end of the night. Just like, okay, it's time for me to go outside to go potty before I go to bed. She will sit there and she'll nudge the blind here back and forth so it clangs against it just as like, hey, I'm here, remember me. Shane and I always say that there's something special about doodles. They're not like typical dogs. They truly act like toddlers themselves. So instead of having a toddler and a dog, we really feel like we have two toddlers. You ready for bed? Holly, you ready to go for bed? Where's your bunny? Let's go get your bunny. Come on. Where's your bunny? You wanna take your coffee up? You wanna take your coffee? You wanna get your coffee? Where are you going on? You ready? Okay, mom's gonna turn up the lights, okay? I literally count down the hours until I can get into my comfortable pajamas. Even though I stay at home all day, I still want to feel human, so I typically put on normal clothes as much as I can. So these are some of my favorite skincare products I use right now. This gentle cleanser has been awesome for my skin. I've been extremely careful what I've used lately because ever since I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, my skin has like gone 
crazy. It literally is like peeling off my face for how dry it is. It's like extremely inflamed. So this delicate cleanser I got in my FabFitFun box is amazing. I follow it up with the pore cleanser from Neutrogena. This tends to work the best. And then I have the super hydrating H2O moisturizer from Tarte. This was actually a part of my self-care routine that I put in my planner that I added in my 2022 goal setting and planning video. I can link it for you here, but I wanted to make sure to make an emphasis on taking care of my skin, my teeth, just my body as a whole. I realize a lot of times I just go to bed and crash without even thinking twice and I wake up feeling like crap the next morning. So I think just by doing little things for yourself before you go to bed is so important, especially as a mom. You give so much of yourself for your kids and you deserve even a couple of hours in the evening after your kids go down. Fortunately, I can still hear Declan on the monitor. So he's still a rare to go right now as we speak. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and paint my nails. Yeah, so whenever I did the gel kit at home, it takes me maybe 20 minutes max just between like, if you do it the right way. So between like buffing your nails, filing them, taking care of your cuticles, uh, actually like painting the nails. So they tell you to do about like four or five different layers between the base coat, a couple of the actual color and then a top coat. And then you let them set um, under the UV light for about, I believe it's 60, like 30 seconds or 60 seconds, depending on how long you wanna cure them for. But yeah, it's quick and easy. Like buying the kit itself covers at least one trip to the nail salon. Now don't get me wrong, it's so nice having other people do it, but sometimes you don't always have the opportunity to like make an appointment to be able to go. So I think it's really nice to be able to have the availability to take care of yourself at home and pamper yourself, especially during the pandemic. A lot of us had to cut back on some of our favorite things we enjoyed doing just because of different um, salons and things have shut down or financially you just can't afford to do it that way. So you can always ask for this as a gift. That's a great idea. But typically you'd get on a given night. Sometimes if I'm not editing a video or reading or doing something we need for the house or helping Shane out with stuff, a lot of the time I will go work out. But this, this afternoon I actually worked out during Declan's nap. I don't know if it's just the exhaustion from potty training or what, but Declan has been sleeping like three, four hour stretches, which is insane. Normally I would be lucky if I get an hour with him these past two weeks. So I don't know what's going on, if he's going through a growth spurt or what, but I'm paying for it now because he's still awake, but we might have to push back his bedtime a little bit, but that's just something we'll just adjust to. Yeah, it all depends on his nap schedule and how, much, how long he'll let me exercise. So I wrote in my planner that I wanna try to work out in the evenings, maybe three days a week, and then work out in the afternoon, maybe two, or just depending on the schedule. I know I'm not a morning person, so I try to get it in in the evening before I go to bed. Now, I already showered after I got done working out and got ready, so I'm gonna go to bed now, but a lot of times when I do work out at night, then I do shower, obviously, before I go to sleep. So I'm getting my comfy satin jammies, and I'm gonna paint my nails, read, I'm reading two different books right now. I asked for the Atomic Habits, which I'll let you know. I know a ton of people have raved about it where it breaks down what um, different habits that you have in your life and different ways how it defines like how you operate. It either can motivate you or put you behind. So I just feel like that's a good read for anyone giving starting the new year. And like I said, I've heard a ton of people talk about how much they love this and how much it motivated them. And being a stay-at-home mom now, I just feel like I need a different like push to do stuff, if that makes sense. I just have settled so much into being in Declan's world that I need to get back to being myself and doing the things that I really love. This is part of it. This is part of my journey, but I think it's important to start like daily habits that it can carry over into different aspects of your life. So I'm going to start reading that, and then I'm also reading um, Total Money Makeover. It's the Dave Ramsey book. A lot of people have read it in the past. Shane actually got it a couple years ago and recommended that I sit down and read it as well, just so we can get, like budget and game plan for our family here in the next few years. I think it's always important to check in with your spouse on obviously your financial um, situation as well as just anything in general in their life. So it's something we're trying to make an effort to do more of this year instead of just like waiting until like the end of the month or like every couple months or quarters. So we're gonna try to do it weekly if possible. So yeah, so that's probably what I'm gonna do tonight. 
Shane is out with friends. It's the first time he's been out with his guys in a really long time, so I'm really excited for him. Um, they're having a little like whiskey night at a friend's house, so that's where he is. Normally, he is extremely hands-on helping with Declan, getting ready for bed, and then as soon as he's done, he goes right down to doing his stuff for his MBA or work. So I don't know how he does it between working normal nine to five, then being dad mode, and then being school mode all night. He's Superman, but I'm really glad that he's able to get out and enjoy some time with his boys. So he'll be there probably for the next couple hours. So I'm gonna do some self-care myself and then I'll edit this vlog so I'll be up tomorrow. So before I go to bed, I like to check my glucose. So I have a Dexcom, which is a continuous glucose monitor that I wear either in my thigh, my stomach, or the back of my arms. I currently have one in my left thigh, but it's nice because it gives me updated readings. So as you can see here, I'm checking my Apple Watch and it says I'm at 103. So I'm gonna go ahead and give myself my long-acting insulin. I use Triceba and I dial up, I think it's 10 units and I inject it in my stomach. Sorry for any of you guys who have needlephobia. Don't want to scare you, but some people don't really understand what us diabetics actually go through on a daily basis. So I use insulin pens rather than an insulin pump. That's something I might look into down the road, but for now, the pens work great for me. to be festive for the seasons too. So that's something easy. I hope you enjoyed this nighttime routine video. It is 11 o'clock and it's time for me to go to bed. Please hit the subscribe button below. Like and comment if you like videos like this. Continue to follow me for more homemaking content, motherhood, routine, parenting, all the above. Catch you on the next one. Bye.